Hello! This video will walk you through the steps for obtaining samples to test for Mycoplasma ovinomoniae, or MOVI, in domestic sheep and goats. The technique to obtain deep nasopharyngeal swabs is simple and safe to perform. The PCR test is very reliable in detecting the presence of MOVI bacterial DNA. In a herd of animals with mixed ages, young sheep and goats under 12 months of age are most likely to test positive. It is recommended that animals be tested after two months of age. You will need a swab with a foam tip and a plastic shaft. Cotton tipped swabs and wooden shafts are not recommended. You will need a plain transport tube with no culture media in it. First, restrain the animal's head. A number of physical restraint methods are shown here, which will depend on the size of the animals. The animal should be restrained in the best possible manner to prevent the head from moving, which improves animal safety and increases sampling efficiency. In general, it is best to grip the animal under the jaw and use your other hand to grip the back of the head or the base of the horn. Alternatively, young or small animals can be restrained with their heads between the operator's legs with one hand over the bridge of the nose to better restrain the head. Insert the tip of the swab into the ventral meatus of the animal's nose. This is the lower part of the nostril opening along the midline. Gently advance the swab to the back of the animal's throat or the nasopharynx. If you are in the right place, it will advance easily. If not, remove the swab and reposition the swab direction. Rotate the swab against the lining of the nasopharynx for five to 10 seconds. Remove the swab and repeat on the opposite nostril. Replace the swab in the transport tube and label the tube. The swabs should be placed in a cooler on ice out of sunlight. The swabs should be frozen immediately or kept on ice while transported to the lab. Record animal information and fill out the appropriate lab submission forms to test for MOVI via PCR.